Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? Uh, welcome to a new short series I'm doing called uh, FVD and No Limits to Mashups. And in these three short episodes, we're going to do a mashup of Prior and Church and Intamin. Uh, the inspiration for this series was actually from doing the uh, tutorials for FVD. Uh, when I did the first uh, hammerhead turn and followed by the shingle dive and some helixes and flat turns, I kind of liked how it looked like a blend of B&M and Intamin, so I decided to start a series where I mash up two separate designers and see what I can come up with in terms of what their uh, respective ride philosophies and designs would look like. So like I said, we're starting uh, with uh, p and prior church and intimate and the reason another reason i wanted to do this was because i really wanted to work on a blitz coaster and uh, i didn't want to do the sort of standard layout you see everybody sort of does the first drop with the flat turn and then the airtime hill under the turn uh, that's pretty much a standard layout for a blitz coaster and i wanted to do something a little bit different so the first vision I had in my head was for the flat turn just to be slightly elevated and then contain a double dip coming out of it. And if you've ever seen any pictures of the tornado at Coney Island, uh, the first drop was very similar to that. It, that design is basically what the uh, first drop of the Coney Island tornado did. And the reason it did that was to save on uh, space because the plot of land that the tornado sat on was very narrow and uh, I believe the church only had something like 27 feet to work with on one side in terms of width so we had to kind of keep the speed down as the, the the train was going around that turn so what he did was just make it a little bit higher and then it continues to drop out of it later on so I use that as part of my design and you'll see overall uh, so the tornado was a big inspiration for this ride this double dip drop right here that kind of curves to the side is uh, uh, inspired by the same sort of double dip with a turn uh, that's found on the Giant Dipper at Belmont Park which is a really fun ride uh, if you've never been there it's a great ride to, to just marathon on it it doesn't have any air time uh, it might have one or two spots but it's a little bit slow towards the end, but it's just a fun ride. It's really just a lot of fun and it, it looks it's much more exciting to ride than it looks like from the ground. So I recommend that and that is one of two um, pr uh, prior and church coasters I've ridden. The other one being the Dragon Coaster at Rye Playland. I hope to make it out to Santa Cruz uh, sometime soon, probably next year, to ride the third standing uh, prior and church coaster. So looking forward to that. So one of the other things that we're going to be doing in this uh, ride itself is one of the ways we're making it very intimate like is that it has a launched lift hill. It's going about 25 miles an hour up the lift. And of course, it's also got ejector airtime all over the place, which is not something I believe that uh, prior and church were known for. Um, but it turns out really well. I, I wanted to keep a small footprint on this. I wanted to keep the layout very tight and, and, and in one area. And I'm really pleased with the way this came out. So the name of the ride is, of course, Juju, uh, as you saw at the beginning. And uh, that's inspired by an album, actually, uh, for some of you people who are a little bit older or maybe some of you who know anything about 80s punk and alternative music. Uh, there was a band called Susie and the Banshees, and they made an album called Juju, which is really good. It's kind of the precursor to the goth. Uh, and I wanted to use that name as a coaster and you'll see once we do the final video uh, it's kind of it's gonna be kind of dark and, and a little bit foreboding inspired by that despite what the music is that we're playing right now but <clears throat> uh, so there's gonna be three videos there's gonna be this first one where we actually build the ride in FED and No Limits 2 and the second one we'll go ahead and import it into uh, No Limits and we'll do the supporting I'm gonna go ahead and custom support this uh, because of its tight layout it's really gonna require that I was trying to I was debating whether or not I should use a sort of a cross-section supports that looks more like a typical woody uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go with the standard sort of uh, supports that Intamin would use on a Blitz coaster. <clears throat> and then in the third video, we'll just go ahead and have the POV. So you can see this is going to be a very short 
uh, series for this ride and then we'll go on and do some other rides I have some ideas about mashing up a few other manufacturers uh, I'm not gonna give it away yet I'll keep it as a surprise keep you interested uh, keep you coming back for more uh, so uh, this final turn here, this is where FVD gets really annoying when you're just kind of trying to, uh, you see I'm still working on the, uh, the sort of twisted airtime hill and trying to get this all set up correctly so it's directly aligned with the lift hill. Uh, that's something the church did to save space because a lot of his coasters were on the seashore or somewhere like that and they didn't have a lot of room to, to be winding all over the place. Uh, so it takes me a while to get this perfectly lined up and then the final turn uh, is a flat turn on the ground. I decided to use that as the final element going around uh, the turn that we have higher up and another reason I did this actually was uh, if you look at Fred Church's coasters from an architectural standpoint he really does a lot of, of balancing and mirroring elements uh, in ways on his ride so that they, they never look bizarre from any angle they always look very beautiful from any angle so I was trying to do something similar to that by repeating the 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 flat turn at a lower level to give it more visual heft than the the tighter upper turn uh, it just has a little more weight and heft once I finally get it up here but this is something that's difficult to do in FED to get something exactly right around a curve like that unless you're using I'm using a four section here uh, which makes it, it much more difficult to do uh, but eventually I get it and then I just make a few adjustments to sort of uh, get the brake run and the station mostly together and I'll go ahead and fix that the final make it perfectly straight and uh, when I import it into No Limits 2 that's the best place to do that sort of thing just to fine-tune the beginning matching up the beginning and in the end you can do it in FED it just takes a lot of fooling around and I just find it's it's not even worth it when you're just trying to join two straight sections like right here you'll see where it's a little bit off right there uh, but I'll take care of that in uh, post-production so to speak so like I said in the next episode we'll go ahead and start supporting this it's gonna be all custom supports and then we will take our ride in the third episode we'll do the POV of this and that will be the end of this particular ride and we'll move on to something else uh, and other news other videos on my channel I'm still working on uh, Lucky Mountain trying to get that finished up the the next building that I'm working on is taking quite a bit of time uh, it's it's extremely complex and uh, the technique I'm using isn't working 100% so I decided to go ahead and do this so I wouldn't uh, miss an upload for a while. I wanted to give you all something to look at. New project to work on. Still doing Brush Ridge bobsleds. Uh, so I've got quite a lot going on now. Still doing reviews and so forth and so on. So I've got a lot coming up. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take a POV of this in just a minute, what it looks like in FVD. And the next time you see me, I will be doing supports. So that's it for this time. Take care and enjoy the ride.